Hello everybody, this is All House Gaming and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Potionomics. In the previous episode, we made the decision that, honestly, we're good on money for pretty much the rest of the game. Heck, I'm surprised there isn't an option to just earn all the money and then pay off the debt right away. I mean, granted, early game it's not an option, and that would kind of spoil some story elements to it, but we'd still have a reason to be in the competition for the Maven Blue. But that's not the point. As I stated, we don't really need money for the rest of the game. At least I don't think so. So we're pretty much going to be spending most of the rest of these time, rest of this time, uh, hanging out with our friends, getting them up to rank ten. Because I'm confident in saying that we have all that we need to brew up the next set of competition potions. Like we can easily make ma yeah, make masterwork potions. I mean, I'm still going to send adventurers out into what is going to be the last adventuring area, but. Other than that, we don't really have much else to worry about. Anyways, in the previous episode, we got Baptiste and Luna up to rank 8. Today, I'm going to focus on Roxanne and Zid, though one of them's only going to get to rank 7. Wait, no, no, they're both going to get to rank 8. But because this is the last day before the competition, uh, I'm going to... Call it quits early on, because I want an entire episode for that, even though it's not going to take that long, because I'm going to blow her out of the water. But all the same. Anyways, nothing else to it? Let's head on out. Let's start with Zid first. Oh, wait. Let's start by giving out all the gifts and hitting up salt and pepper. Is what I should be doing. Anyways... See you guys once I've given the gifts. Okay then, gifts have been given out, and now it's time to spend some time with Zid. I hope you're taking care of your vocal cords, Sylvia. Lord knows I'm not. I can't say I've given it much thought. You should. It's another similarity between us troubadours and traders. We both use our voices a lot. Believe me, you can you catch more flies with honeyed tones. Throat spray. Remove a random debuff from Sylvia. Decrease stress by three. It can only be played as an opener. I'll learn to love my larynx. Good. Maybe we should start by going someplace more quiet. The guild hall is livelier than ever, and while crowds are good for business, it'd be good to be able to chat without straining our voice boxes. I like getting you all to myself. World's greatest backstage pass. You don't need a pass, Sylvia. You're a lifetime VIP. Come on, let's get out of here. Now this is a view. Isn't it just? I've been coming up here to write whenever I can sneak away for a few minutes. And the song? It's going good, Sylvia. Really good. I'm probably expecting too much, but I sort of feel like it could be important, if that makes sense. Storytelling is powerful, and storytelling set to music makes people feel things, and that's some potent magic. At least it is when you get it right. Speaking of which, this story needs conflict. What type should it be? Hmm, hmm, tough call, tough call. Internal conflict. Best heroes are those who have to overcome their flaws. And in the end, we're all our worst own worst enemies, right? Sounds smart to me. I'll see what I can come up with. And, well, I hope you know how much I appreciate your willingness to be part of my process like this. It means a lot. Hey, I'm happy to help out. You really mean that, don't you? You want to know the secret to being a good songwriter? It takes more than having a sense for lyrics or rhythm. You've got to notice things. You've got to see people. I noticed you the moment I walked into your shop, and I haven't been able to stop looking since. I noticed how kind you are, how capable. And I noticed when you started dating someone else. Despite our occasional flirtation, sorry if I gave you the wrong idea. It's cool. For a while, I thought we might be on a different track, but I wouldn't really change anything. These past few weeks, well, you inspire me, Sylvia. I had to tell you so. 
I'm the kind of person who believes in the importance of words. I want you to know what an absolute thrill it is to be your friend. You took the words right out of my mouth. You inspire me too. Well, in that case, I look forward to seeing you perform on stage soon. Oh, that's not really what I meant. Nah, just teasing. Although now that I've said it, I can't stop picturing it. Genuine friendship is too rare a thing in this world, Syl. We should celebrate it every chance we get. We should sing it from the rooftops. Sounds like an epic duet. So epic it'll set the charts on fire. And now is actually our next jam session. Funnily enough. I scream, you scream, we all scream for frozen yogurt. Huh. It's not quite as catchy as it should be, is it? I guess you could workshop it. Nah, sounds like work. Today is about anything but. Sylvia is familiar with the ice cream vendor, enough to notice that something is unusual. This place is usually a lot busier. Well, about that. I sort of rented the place out. Oh, really? You can do that? What can I say? Sometimes being a celebrity has its perks. We've got the run of the place for a couple hours, and I humbly suggest that we use this time to eat as much frozen yogurt as humanly possible. Why not ice cream? Rookie mistake, Sil. With ice cream, you pick flavor, and then it's sort of what it is. But with yogurt, you have a huge array of toppings, and therefore a lot more control over the final dessert. It's kind of a blank slate, a steady beat on which you overlay a melody of your own making. Just look at our options, Sil. It boggles the mind. Sylvia gazes out upon the available toppings, and she quickly sees that Zit has a point. Colorful confectionaries, fruits and nuts, candied eyeballs, lay spread out before them like a banquet set by sugar-crazed uh, set by sugar-crazed children. It's enticing. It's slightly overwhelming. I don't know if I need more decision points in my life. I can help you make good choices. It's all about maximizing your pleasure. Fresh fruit is tasty, but dried fruit is denser, so you can eat more of it. Ectoplasm takes some getting used to, but it won't cause your blood sugar to spike and crash like butterscotch will. Wow, you really put some thought into this. Yeah, I'm a master of the scales, meaning both musical scales and the yogurt weigh in variety. This is pretty amazing. It's so generous of you. I like the idea of, soon, idea of doing something nice for you, pal. And, well, it might be a little premature, but I'm in the mood to celebrate. You know the song I've been working on? I'm almost done. I'm on track to finish it tonight. There are still some rough spots to iron out and a few clumsy rhymes. But the first draft is always the hardest part. And the end is in sight. When can I hear it? It's so curious. That means a lot. I promise I'll share it. Once it's fully cooked. I only hope this is the start of a new chapter, that this is just the first of a whole slew of original songs. This is what it's all about. This is why I got into music to begin with. Why exactly did you get into music? Well, it sounds cheesy, but I wanted to make a difference. Okay, that's not the whole story. What I wanted was to be in the spotlight. I've always loved being the center of attention. But I also wanted to use the spotlight to enact real change. It's just amazing to me the power music has to sway hearts. I wish everyone with a platform thought more carefully about how to use it. With great stage presence comes great responsibility, right? Only I got totally swept up in the race to be on top, I let myself become a cog in a corporate hit-making machine. I didn't write a single word or share a single original opinion, not for years. time like the present. Isn't that the truth? The word's been flowing out of me lately, but I still need to write the climax of this song, and it's important to get the tone right. So what do you think? As the hero comes to the end of our trials, should she be pretty confident, or does she worry that she'll fall short right until the very end? It's more fun if she's confident. She comes all this way, and she's learned to trust in her abilities. Sounds like it all builds to a rousing finale. Okay, that should be the last piece of input I need. Now I've just got to iron out that rhyme scheme. Nothing rhymes with coupon, does it? But that's the final treat I had for you today. A coupon? Soup's on! I'm obviously not a songwriter. And yet, make no mistake, 
Couldn't have written this one without you. All right, now for Roxanne. Say, your lips look extra glossy today. I just touched up my makeup a minute ago. It pays to put in the effort to look your best. If only because it can provide a surge of self-confidence. Chapstick. Apply confident for two turns. If opener, apply for three turns instead. Confident. Increase all interest applied by 50%. Not bad. I can make an effort. But don't tell me you need more confidence. Generally, no. Although I've been doing some soul-searching of late. Terribly inconvenient stuff, soul-searching. It started when I ran into someone on the street. Old friend? An old Mark. A man I fleeced for quite a bit of gold over the last few months. He spotted me through the crowd. He approached. I was sure he intended to cause a scene. Perhaps demand his money back. Instead, he tried to give me money. He told me he'd missed my potions. He offered me a goodly sum for a fresh dose of my anti-baldness elixir. Okay, that is definitely not a potion that exists. I know that, and you know that. He'd never figured it out. And my first thought was, easy money, right? But something happened. As I stood there staring at the man's trusting eyes and swiftly receding hairline, I imagined our roles were reversed. I felt... empathy. So you told him the truth? Oh, heavens no. I told him I was late for my charity work at a home for plucky, soot-covered orphans and, beat a, and I beat a hasty retreat. But I didn't take his money. I think perhaps that's due to your influence. I suppose I just wanted to tell you. That is, I thought you should know. Yes? If not for this ridiculous moral code, I'd have extra money with which to pay you rent. Dang, is it too late to go back and police the guy? That opportunity, like the man's bangs, is lost forever. Now let's get out of here for a spell. I'm in the mood for a change of scenery. It's such a strange place, the forest. It's so... open. Uh, no one to interrupt us? We could do pretty much anything we wanted. You're full of surprises, aren't you? Starting with the moment you bested me in that competition. When I first saw you, I sized you up immediately. I paid you for a spoiled little girl who'd never had to fight or scrape for anything in her life. And I was certain you'd be easy prey. I'm not too proud to admit I was wrong. Wrong on all counts. You're a fighter, Sylvia. You're every bit the fighter I am. Well, thank you for acknowledging that. And you're right. I'm tough as nails and twice as sharp. There, see? You don't even need the compliment. I can get out of the way if uh, you want and pat yourself on the back. My point is this. We have common ground, and a lot of it. I thought that made us enemies, and then I thought it made us allies. But we're more, even, than just allies, aren't we? Sylvia, I've noticed your rather adorable attempts at catching my eye. However, I have also noticed that you're not unattached. Now, I'm always up for a bit of fun, but it seems to me you have a good thing going. The last thing I'd want is to complicate that. You're right, I should probably dial back the flirting. Oh, you don't need to go that far. Flirting is fun, even between friends. And we are friends, after all, aren't we? Of course we're friends. That's no small thing. Not to me. Sylvia, your kindness and support, your belief in me. You're the best friend I've ever had. Ever. Roxanne, that's... That's so nice. I can't help bracing myself waiting for a zinger about my hair. I give you a hard time, I know. I'll try to go easier on you. But teasing is how I express affection. And I have a great deal of affection for you, Sylvia. I mean, I must care for you a great deal if I'm able to overlook so very many shortcomings. There it is. I just because I care. Because it's easier than saying thank you. But... Thank you, Sylvia. Without you, I don't know where I'd be. Maybe in the end I would have been fine on my own, but maybe not. And my life is certainly better for having you in it. And now to rank up again. I need to work off some steam, and yoga isn't cutting it today. Not even hot yoga with baby goats. 
Can I help somehow? You're a faithful friend, Sylvia. Just knowing you want to help is helpful in its own right. That's why I asked you out here for a bit of... therapy. Roxanne pulls a heavy sledgehammer from behind a bush. Wait, where did that come from? Oh, I have weapons stashed all over town. Perhaps that's a haggling tip you can try. It's... not at all relevant to haggling. Oh, fine. Here's a coupon instead. That works. Thanks. Now, shall we? Roxanne has brought a satchel full of junk she found at a second-hand shop. There are dinner plates, glass pitchers, little ceramic animals. Roxanne sets them all in a row and sets to smashing them with her mallet. She's smiling now, exhilarated by the destruction. Then she hands the hammer over to Sylvia, who isn't sure at first. But as a terracotta unicorn shatters beneath her blow, she immediately understands the appeal. Fun, isn't it? I call it Smash and Gab. Maybe it could be my next business after this enchanting lark falls apart. Oh, always smart to have a plan B. You never know what's going to happen. Precisely, and I've always had a get-out-of-town bag packed and ready if things go south. I thought business was on good and you were on track to get your license. Did something change? We smashed. Now gab. If you insist, it's just that I have this exam coming up. It's the final hurdle in securing my business license. So I took a practice exam. I came back with so much red it looked like a murder scene. Ugh, and I wasn't expecting it. I thought I'd done just fine. There's no shame in it. That's the whole point of a practice exam. It just means you have to hit the books. Oh, I've tried that. I also tried biting, scratching, and kicking the books. You know what I meant. You need to study. That's absurd. I know all of this already, and I'm running a profitable business. Why in the world should I have to study, then, for a test about how to run a business? Because the diff there's a difference between practical knowledge and book smarts. The former might be enough to do the work. But if you want your license, you have to prove you have the latter, too. So let me get this straight. It's not enough that I've shelled out my hard-earned money and filled out their little forms. I'm also expected to parrot their little trivia back at them? All to earn the approval to do the work that I'm already doing? That is quite a scam, and I would know. That's the system we're stuck with, for better or worse. The business world definitely has its own set of rules. Just think of it like a game. A game? But you know if I play a game, then I play to win. Exactly. I'll know you'll do what it takes. Even if it means spending hours memorizing trivia. I know when a gauntlet's been thrown down. Very well. I'm going to crush this exam, Sylvia. I'll do whatever it takes. But first, I'm going to find a new hiding spot for this sledgehammer. I have a feeling I'll be needing it again soon. Yikes. Now then, we could continue on and get somebody up to rank 1 to unlock something else that's going to be going on with the friends. Those who have already played this or have looked ahead already know what it is. But, I think I want to do some early preparations for this. Well, for next week. You'll know what I mean, because I have been talking about it. But, I think, just because of the sake of time, because we won't have enough time to take care of the competition and all the cutscenes that come after it, so I'm going to end things off here for today. If you guys like what I see, or like what you see, please leave a like, subscribe for future content, don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications for when I upload, and please, leave a comment down below this video. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.